some elements of his life. And I think I might need to hand you over to Bernie. Yeah. I insisted that I go after all these guys because these guys are the funniest and I think I've ever met. And I can't follow them. So here we go. Bernie. <laughs> testing, testing, can you hear me? Thank you, I, I, I feel privileged, that I, I was asked to um, come and say a few kind words about Peter, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> I was asked to do this speech, or do a, do a few words. I said, keep it, keep it quick, short, about a quarter an hour, 20 minutes. <laughs> we might get there, I don't know. Um, but Peter came round the other night, he said, I want to have a look at that speech. I want to vet it. He said, no work. I know what you're like. I said, OK, so we, we went through it. And uh, lo and behold, I've left the first page at home, so I'm going to have this bit. Um, I first met Peter when I was 15. I was 15 and a half. I met him at a Buddy Holly lookalike programme. <laughs> uh, Buddy Holly one, and uh, he came second. <laughs> I didn't see him again for about three or four months, and I went to <clears throat> the Odeon round, the Odeon round, they had the dance hall there at the Odeon, the top of the Odeon. And uh, that's the next time I saw Peter, and he was doing his Hank Marvin dance routine. <laughs> he got the big, thick glasses, he really looked like him. But um, anyway, we struck up a friendship which has um, endured and lasted 55 years. We nearly got divorced a couple of three times. <laughs> and we went into businesses, and, um, and you know, we were going to set the world alight. Um, with our plans and our, you know, and our forethoughts and the revolution was definitely going to happen in Chelmsford. <laughs>